Well, as you and I have heard the gospel for this morning, in, in some way it really should ring in our ear a dissonant note of, uh, that Jesus would come to bring division, and not only division in general, but he's very specific in his answers here, division within families. How do we reconcile this? What is, what is Christ really saying under this very loaded word, division, divisiveness? See, what Jesus was trying to make clear is that you and I can't get anything right in our life unless we have the one thing right in our life. We can't get the most important, intimate relationships in our lives that that most of us cherish, that we look forward to, our family relationships, spousal relationships, that we can't get these things right unless we get the one thing right. And what is the one thing that Jesus wants us to get right? That our loving God, not just God, but important to always remember that our loving God created each of us with intention, purpose, with dignity, that each of us in this life have a role to play to fulfill God's dream, that each of us, without exception, that each of us are made in God's image and likeness, that each of us have been chosen by God, the loving God, to be known as his daughter, to be known as his son. You see, when we think about everything in the world, especially around that word divisiveness, and we hear it only through a human lens, we, we look at it only that way. Divisiveness is about judgment. It's about looking at another and saying that less than. That's not God. It's not what Jesus is saying. Jesus wants us to get the one thing right that we are all brothers and sisters, we are chosen daughters and sons of him, so that as a spouse looks one to the other, sees not just a, a good human being to be in relationship with, but to recognize the other as a son, as a daughter of God, that his parents embrace their children, as children embrace their parents, that they recognize they're not a a helpful utilitarian type relationship. Oh, well, isn't it good that we're not alone? We have a family. We can help one another. On one level, human level, that's good, but it's not God's dream. God's dream is that we look into one another's eyes, children into the eyes of their parents, parents into the eyes of their children, and see a daughter of God, the image of God, And not just there within the family. Jesus wants us to get the one thing right. So whether it's in our workplace with our colleagues, whether it be in our neighborhoods, that our lives become places where we encourage and celebrate one another's uniqueness and gifts. So the great dream of God, his family here on earth, flourishing, comes about. If we don't get the one thing right, if we don't see ourselves that way, uniquely made, in our difference one from another, we won't get anything right. The one thing right that God has made us intentionally. So Jesus uses strong words in the gospel, a strong example. But what he's trying to say that it's better to have division in thought so that we can have the right thought. It's better to have a division in hope so that we have the right hope. It's better to have a division in what love and goodness means so that we'll truly be loving and good. It doesn't mean a separation. It means getting the one thing right so that we live and flourish together as daughters and sons of the loving God, all of us united together.